क्लास नाइन आई है जो भी किया क्लास में ग्राफिकल मेथड से किया है ना तो अभी जितना मैंने यहाँ पे पढ़ाया है वो ग्राफिकल मेथड से ही करा है ठीक है अभी मैंने वेब मेथड नहीं स्टार्ट किया मैं आपसे स्टार्ट करेंगे टू देर टू मेथड ओके टू सॉल्व दीन इन टू वेरिएबल ओके वन इज ग्राफिकल मेथड एंड वन इज योर एल्जेब्रिक मेथड ओके ग्राफिकल मेथड मीन्स यूर हैव टू फॉर्म द इक्वेशन फाइन द पॉइंट फॉर यू हैव टू मेक वाई एज अ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल ओके Uh, and x as an independent variable, then get the value for x. You can choose any two, three values of x and find the uh, respective value of y, and then plot the points on the graph. Okay, then where the graph is meeting, the joining. Okay, that is your that point is your solution. Okay, but in a graph you'll find three types of graph. Okay, one at a single point, a unique solution, only one point intersection. Then there are parallel lines. Okay, when the two lines, when the two uh, line you are drawing on the graph paper, then they are parallel lines. It means no solution. And the third one is that when they are overlapping, they are co coincident. Okay, so that is your the uh, you can have infinite many solution. Okay, so these things you can do by simply uh, plotting the points on the graph paper. Okay, but uh, some important thing that I taught in the last class that I will explain you. The rest I think uh, what you have done in class ninth. Uh, That is only there. See, these three situations will be there. Okay, that I have told you. Okay. Now, uh, one thing that I wanted to tell you that when the graph is consistent, when the graph is inconsistent, and when the uh, yeah, just uh, okay, when you draw a line, when the lines are intersecting, okay, and they have a unique solution. Just uh, I'll tell you this one. That's important. Okay, you can note down or uh, just remember this. Okay, when you draw. The graph, okay, the linear equation. So when you have got two linear equation in one, uh, two variables, okay, then what you have to do, you have to solve for the values, okay. So when you plot the graph and you see that both the lines are intersecting at single point, okay. So when the lines are single intersecting at single point, that means you have a unique solution, okay. And that type of a linear equation called consistent pair of linear equation, okay. <laughs> Remember this word consistent, okay. Because uh, many times in your question it will be said that the graph are inconsistent. Okay, find the solution or something. Okay, find the values. This is consistent. Okay, so when there is a unique solution, then it is consistent. The graph, the, the linear equation is consistent. Okay, now when the graph are in the two parallel, when you get the two parallel lines, then there is no solution and it is inconsistent. Okay. When there is no solution, the lines are parallel. That means no solution is there, no intersecting point is there. That means it is inconsistent. Okay, and the third one that is the graph are overlapping. Both the lines are overlapping each other. Okay, they have infinite many solution. That time the graph is also inconsistent. Sorry, consistent. Okay, like unique solution, it is inconsistent, but it is dependent also. It is dependent. Both are dependent. Okay, Anastasia Jan. Once more. How? Once more. Once more. Okay. See, first you tell me when you are going to plot the graph for the linear equation in two variable, uh, what three condition will be seen? जब आप linear equation solve करते हो, तो आप points निकालोगे, ठीक है? Points x y की value करोगे, three points आप दोनों equation के लिए करोगे, ठीक है? For example, यहाँ पे जगह है, ना ये देखो, देखो, दो equation, दो equation होते हैं, a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 Is equal to zero. One is your this equation is a two x plus this is your standard equation. Okay, b two y plus c two is equal to zero. These are your two equation. Okay, when you are going to solve the equation and plot the graph on a graph paper. Okay, so what are the three condition, three types of graph that will be seen on your graph paper? One, they are intersecting lines. Okay, this is intersecting. Okay, intersecting lines. Intersecting lines mean it has a unique, unique solution. ओके शाहजान एक ही सॉल्यूशन होगा ओके ठीक है ओके जब एक ही पॉइंट पे को लाइक करेगा कंसाइड करेगा मतलब एक ही सॉल्यूशन होगा मतलब एक ही सॉल्यूशन होगा कहने का मतलब है उन दोनों इक्वेशंस को एक ही वैल्यू सेटिस्फाई करेगी ओके For example, you are finding try to find the cost of something. Okay, like I have, I am giving you a question that uh, uh, I bought two pencil and three pens. Okay, okay, two pencil and three pen, and total money that I gave to the shopkeeper is ten rupees. Now I am again telling you, I am not telling you the exact price, Prasant. Okay, listen. Yes, and I am telling you that I bought two pencil and five pens of rupees. So and so. Okay. So now you got two equation. Okay, you are going to solve the equation and get the value of the pencil and the pen. Okay. So 
when you're solving, then you'll get the exact value of the pencil and pen. That means you'll be getting, uh, okay. if you're getting one uh, one point of intersection, you are getting the exact okay. value of the pencil and pen. But the yehi value, yehi price hoga pen ka, yeh hoga pencil ka. Okay. But if you get intersecting, that means you are not going to get any solution. Okay. Koi aisi value nahi milegi jo dono ko satisfy kare. Okay. Uski alag value, uski alag value. Dono ko satisfy kare. No solution for those. So, un dono graph ka saath mein koi solution nahi hai. If you get coincident means in find out any solution. Har value, x ki har value ke liye, to be y ki value ho jayegi. Okay. And when you are getting the intersecting line, that means the that type of graph, nobody has joined in class 10. Consistent. We call it consistent. Okay. Now, there's another condition that the graph has parallel lines. Okay. Parallel lines means no solution. Uh, parallel lines. Now, this time, graph is consistent. inconsistent. Okay. The first graph is consistent. Yes. When you are getting solution, that graph is consistent. And when you are not getting solution, it is and con what I said, consistent, inconsistent. Okay. And the third one is that you are getting both the lines in okay, coinciding lines. And there will be infinite many solution. And the second point is what line now? What? Now what is the third graph known as? Third is coinciding lines. But the overlapping lines should be like it, don't know the same point will come at the paper strip over Pura consider to take it. Okay, so Uske ka the infinite many solution of the higher value to many satisfy career. Okay, so you're having infinite many solution. Okay, and that type of graph is also called consistent, but they are dependent, they're dependent on each other. Okay, so they're dependent. Let me check, nobody is drawing. Uh, I don't know, class link is already spent. Okay, so understood now, Shazan, these three conditions, yes, ma'am. Okay. So where it is going to help you? Let me explain you. Okay, nature of lines. Now, nature of lines and consistency. The same thing that I told you, but how by looking at the equation? The equation of the DV and a standard equation a one x plus b one y plus c one. Two equations you will get. Usko kaise compare karke ya? Mada pehli kaise pata kare without plotting your graph that intersecting lines hongi, ke consider coincident line hongi, ke parallel line hongi. ठीक है? तो ये screen पे जो visible है? Yes, ma'am. Is it properly is chart for the demand way? You have to frame it, okay? Or you can say you have to remember the value that a1 by a2. Okay, the equation is the linear equation of milling in a the graph finding the solution. Then a1 by a2, the coefficient of x means a1 by a2. If a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, then it is intersecting line. So c1, c2 compare me. Can I say a1 by a2 other a b1 by b2 can not equal over yeah? then they are intersecting lines. Okay, that means you'll get a unique solution and the system of equation is consistent. Okay, kabi kabi asa over the question kasa milega that it is written that the equation that the uh, linear equation, the two linear equations are consistent. Okay, so that means you'll get a unique solution. Okay. Understood? So you will have to compare, put the values here, a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 and get the values. Okay, koi eight missing over, a1 ki value missing over, yeah, maybe b a2, yeah, b1, b2, b2 missing, koi eight missing over and you will have to find the value. Okay, now, uh, second one, a1 by a2, okay, now if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, now we are going for the third one, we will compare the c1 by c2, okay, now a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, okay, all the three are equal, means parallel, line. sorry, you'll get infinite many solutions, okay. That means the line will be coincident, okay? Con uh, coincident, overlapping lines, okay? And we'll get infinite many solutions, okay? And this type of system is called consistent dependent, okay? Which I have told you, it's the same thing. But how do you know how to compare the ratio? That's what I'm going to tell you, okay? Now, if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2, is not equal to C1 by C2, then you'll get parallel lines, okay? If C1 by C2 is not equal to C1 by C2, then you'll get parallel lines, okay? And there will be no solution and system will be called inconsistent. Okay. Any doubt? Is chart ko note down kar lo. Okay. Wait, let me take a screenshot. Ah, a screenshot hai whatever. In fact, we'll get your, uh, get all the things in the notes also. But uh, still, uh, I mean, और जब भी कोई चीज याद करना होता है शैतान ओके दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इट ट्राई टू नोट डाउन ओके अभी नहीं क्योंकि क्लास में कई बार टाइम कम होता है या अभी फॉरन होता है ठीक है लेकिन बाद में उसे नोट डाउन करने की कोशिश क्या करिए उसको लिखने की कई बार कोशिश क्या करो इन दैट वे यू विल रिमेंबर क्योंकि व्हेन यू राइट डाउन एंड यू स्पीक आल्सो देन योर ब्रेन उसे बहुत ज्यादा अच्छे से उसको ग्रास्प करता है और उसको फीड करता है ठीक है सो नोट डाउन जरूर करना ओके सो अब देखो इसके किस तरह से क्वेश्चन आएंगे ठीक है मैं वो दिखा देती हूं एंड इफ नोबडी जॉइंस टुडे बिकॉज़ इट्स ऑलरेडी 4:13 
सो मैं तुम्हें जो भी तुम्हारा छोटा है ना इसमें वो मैं आपको करा दूंगी ठीक है ना ही आई सी क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन शाह ओके ऑन कंपेयरिंग द रेशियोज ए वन बाई ए टू बी वन बाई बी टू सी वन बाई सी टू एंड विदाउट ड्रॉइंग दैम ओके यू डोट है ड्रॉ द ग्राफ यू जस्ट हैव टू कंपेयर द वैल्यूज एंड फाइंड आउट दैट द लीनियर इक्वेशन आर इंटरसेक्टिंग एट अ पॉइंट और अ पैरल और अ कोइंसिडेंट ओके सो कैन यू आर जस्ट ट्राई एनी ऑफ द वन क्वेश्चन एंड चेक And so you try all the three questions, first, second, and third. Okay, just try them. See, I'm just focusing on the question only. Okay, just try it. You have to compare a one by a two, b one by b two, and c one by c two. If a one by a two is not equal so to b one by b two, minus करेंगे ना मैं. Minus करेंगे minus का करेंगे. Subtract तो हम भी subtract a one and a two. No, no, no. So how to do? अच्छा a one by a two. Okay, okay. ये ratio compare करना है. ठीक है शुजान. यहाँ देखो ratio दिखा हुआ है ना. Yes, uh, compare the ratios. So in ratios, ko compare karke, you have to find out that the lines are intersecting. Your graphs, your lines are going to be intersecting, or it will be parallel, or it will be coincident line. Okay, understood? You have to check this. Okay. Now, abhi agar ye dekho uh, second wale equation dekho second wale me jo second part hai twelve x plus nine y is equal to twenty one. Ye standard form mein nahi. Isko standard form mein pehle karna means twenty. Bring twenty one on the LHS minus twenty one is equal to zero. Okay, and then compare. Ye to values galat ho jayenge. ठीक है? Ma'am, you are mute from that time. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. No, no. I have explained everything and I was on mute. Okay, sorry. And I should okay. So uh, till now we have solved the graphical method of how to solve a pair of linear equation. Okay. So we have seen that how we are going to solve a pair of linear equation in the graphical method. Okay. And we have seen the pair, uh, the nature of the lines also. What is the nature of the line means by comparing the value of the coefficient, we have checked uh, what is the nature of the line that lines are intersecting or coinciding or they are parallel lines. Okay. If a one by a two is not equal to b one by b two, then it has a then they are intersecting lines. The graph is consistent, and they will be having a unique solution. Okay. If a one by a two, then if a one by a two is equal to b one by b two, then there are two another cases. Either it will be equal to c one by c two also, or it will be not equal to c one by c two. Okay. If it will be equal to c one by a one by a two is equal to b one by b two is equal to c one by c two, then the lines will be parallel, and we'll be having infinite many solution. Okay, we having infinite many solution, and the graph will be consistent, but it will be dependent. Okay, now the third situation is that the a one by a two is equal to b one by b two is not equal to c one by c two. Then the graph will be parallel line, the lines will be parallel lines, and it will be not consistent, and there will be no solution. Okay, now this was about the graphical method. Okay, now this uh, how we can solve it. The Second method is algebraic method because every time we cannot get the exact value in the graphical method. What happens in the graphical method? You are going to plot the points on the graph, and then you are going to find. Sometimes the values are too bigger. Okay, you are not able to get it on a small paper of a graph paper, or sometimes the value are in your decimals. So how can you get uh, the exact value? Okay, so sometimes graphical method is not that accurate. Okay, so we switch to the algebraic method. Okay, that will give you an exact value, accurate method. Okay, now in algebraic method, how we can solve a pair of linear equation? There are three uh, three ways to solve a uh, pair of linear equation uh, algebraically. Okay, substitution method, elimination method, and a cross multiplication method. Now I'll just give you a short description of everyone, and then we will uh, do elaborate form of. Each of the methods, okay. Substitution method. Now, what happens in the substitution method? From the word, you can say substitution means we are going to substitute something. So, as we are solving a pair of linear equations, so you are having two linear equations, okay. So, what will be there? From the first equation, we are going to get the value of x or y. It depends on you which variable you choose, okay. Now, after that, you are going to substitute that value in the another equation. So you will have an equation with only single value, and on solving that, you will get that value, okay. After that, when you have got the value, you can uh, you can put the value and get the value of another variable. Okay, this is your substitution method by substituting the value. Elimination method. We are going to eliminate one variable. Okay, you are having two variables x and y. So what we are going to do in the both equation, if directly you can eliminate by adding or subtracting, well and good. If not, you are going to multiply both the equations with some number. Okay, in such a way that one of its variable value is equal. Okay, like. In one, it is written only y, and in the second variable, it is two y. So you are going to multiply the first equation with the two, so that you will get two y, and then you are going to subtract both the equation. So y will be eliminated. Okay, you will get the equation in only one variable, that is x, and then you can solve the for x, 
and whatever value you will get for x, you can put that value in any of the equation, first and second, and get the respective value of y. This is your elimination method. Okay. Now cross multiplication method. In cross multiplication method, I'll tell you when you will be, uh, I will be at that topic because here what we will do, we will write the equation and we will cross multiply the value. Okay. Yes, like x is there, then uh, below you will leave the value of the x and you will cross multiply b1 c1 and b1 c2 and b2 c1 minus. Okay. Like this. Okay. So when we are at that point, I'll explain you in detail. Okay. Now let's see the first method. Substitution method. I just given a uh, intro with the question one. Okay, so let's see again. Okay, now I'm going for the question number two. Okay, yeah, substitution yeah, method. Yeah. Now the both equation I am writing here. Yeah. Ax plus by minus a plus b is equal to zero. This is your equation number one. Ax minus a by minus a minus b is equal to Zero is your equation number two. Now you have to do substitution method. How can you do substitution method? We have to substitute the value. Okay. So I am choosing equation number one and I'm going to substitute the value. Okay. So from equation one. Okay. Now if you're writing a x plus b by minus a plus b is equal to zero. Now if you do b by Okay, we have got the value of y. What is the value of y? A minus b minus ax by b. Okay, so this is the value of your y. Okay, you can mark it as third. Okay, now what we are going to do? We are going to substitute this value of y in the first in the second equation. Why I'm using second equation? Because the first equation from the first equation, I have got the value of y. Okay. If you want to choose x, you can choose x also. Okay. It is just substitution, so you have to substitute one of the variables value. I have chosen y here. Okay. Now putting the value of y in equation second. Now what is the equation second? B y b x sorry bx minus a y a y minus a minus a minus a okay. now i will put the value of y as a minus b minus ax okay okay understood now you can see it is only in one variable only x can be seen now let us solve this okay i'm taking the lcm so it will be b square x minus a a minus b minus ax B square x minus a square minus a b minus minus plus a b plus a square x b a plus b. Only keep the x coefficient on one side and rest of the values. So x you take common x square plus b square b a plus b square plus a square minus a b okay so uh plus a b and minus a b will be cancelled so what you will get x is equal to a square plus b square upon a square plus b square so you are going to cancel it and you will get the value x is equal to one so everybody this is clear we have got the value of x as one now what we will do we will put the value of x is equal to one in y is equal to in this Okay, putting instead of here, you are putting substituting. Okay, in value of x in equation third. So y is equal to what? A minus b minus ax. A minus b minus ax by b. Can you show this one once again? I am not. Uh, just to mention, A minus B minus A, A minus B at B, which is the Okay. Uh, so from the starting, yeah. See, you have got two equations. This is a substitution method. So we are going to substitute the value. Okay. The equation number one is AX plus BY minus A plus B is equal to zero. Now the second equation is bx minus a y minus a minus b is equal to zero. Okay. Now from equation number one, we are going to find the value of y. Okay. What is the value of y? So that we can substitute it in the second equation. Okay. Okay. Now, so the first equation. Yeah. This is your first equation. See. This is your first equation. Now from this, when I say y ko LHS me rakha hai, baaki saari values ko aapke RHS me kar diya so that we can get the value of y. So I got it that y is equal to a minus b minus ax by b. 
okay and i have taken this as a third equation okay now i'm going to substitute the value of y in the second equation why because i am getting the value of y from the first equation when the first equation se y ki value nikali isne me second me put karungi okay अगर मैंने सेकंड से निकाली होती अगर मैंने सेकंड से सेकंड इक्वेशन को यूज करके वाई की वैल्यू गेट की होती तो मैं फर्स्ट में सब्सिट्यूट करती ओके सो बट आई आई एम नाउ आई एम सब्सिट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इन द इक्वेशन सेकंड सो आई हैव गॉट बी एक्स माइनस ए वाई वॉज देयर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ वाई आई पुट दिस माइनस ए माइनस बी जीरो टू जीरो नाउ बट आफ्टर सॉल्विंग पुट द एक्स वैल्यू ऑन वन साइड एक्स को एक साइड रखो एंड ऑल द कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू ऑन द आर एच एस एंड देन आफ्टर सॉल्विंग आई गॉट एक्स इज इक्वल टू Uh, x is equal to a square plus b square by a square plus b square. So you can cancel it, okay? And you'll get the value of x as one. Okay, you get the value of x as one. And when you will put the value of x is equal to one in the third equation, okay? So you'll get the value of b is equal to minus b by b. That will give you minus one. Any doubt, Shahzan and Rudhonia? No, ma'am. Rudhonia, do you have any doubt? It's clear. Substitution method. How you have to substitute the values and get it? आपको वैल्यू मिलनी चाहिए थी वो ऐसा हो कि वो वेरियबल पूरा कैंसिल हो गया माइनस हो गया ओके यू नॉट गेट देर इज नो वेरियबल सो हाउ कैन यू सर्व तो इन दैट सिचुएशन If you get LHS is equal to RHS, that means they are having infinite many solution. Okay, and if it, if LHS is not equal to RHS, then there is no solution. Okay. Now let's see. Now this question. Romali went to a station. Let me copy the question. Okay. Now Romila went to a stationery shop and purchased two pencil and three erasers. Okay. So she purchases two pencil and three eraser for rupees nine. Okay. Now we don't know the pen, uh, the exact cost of pencil and eraser. Okay. So we can assume. Hello, Sophia. You're so late. Cost of pencil. I'm assuming as x rupees. Okay. And cost of eraser is equal to y rupees. Okay. So we have assumed the cost of pencil and pen as x and y. Now, if you see. The first is two pencil and three eraser for rupees nine. So the first equation form will be two x plus three y is equal to nine. Her friend Sonali saw the new variety of pencil and eraser with Romila, and she bought four pencil and six eraser. So four x plus six y is equal to same kind for rupees eighteen. Okay, find the cost of each pencil and each eraser. So this is your first equation, and this is your second equation. Okay, when if you get the equations to solve in your exam, you can use if it is written graphical method, go for the graphical method. If it is written algebraic method, so in algebraic method you can choose any of the method, either substitution, elimination, cross multiplication. Okay, and you can solve. Okay, but I suggest you to go for the substitution or elimination. Okay, okay, cross multiplication can sometimes uh, what students can do now uh, they while multiplying they do very silly mistake and get it wrong. Okay. So go for substitution and elimination. But if it is written, then go for cross multiplication because sometimes cross multiplication is written in the question that you have to go for cross multiplication. Then you have to switch for cross multiplication. Okay. When you are taking values with cross multi or you are solving with cross multiplication, just be very careful. Okay. With the serial number, but the जो पहले आना है उसको पहले ही आना है, ठीक है? If you do uh, in different way, so your answer will be wrong. Okay. Now the first equation from first equation from equation one. What we are going to do? We are going to find the value. So what you can do? I am wow. If you are going to get the value of x, so x will be equal to. Now this time I am doing for x. Three by by two. Okay. So I have got the value of x is equal to nine minus three by by two. Okay. Now substituting substituting. Value of x in equation second. Okay, four x. Four x means four. Three y by two plus six y is equal to eighteen. It's equal to eighteen. Okay. Now, so it will be uh, two nine minus two nine minus three y plus six y is equal to eighteen. You can take two common and cancel. So nine minus three y plus three y nine. 
Okay. Huh. See, here you can see that minus 9 and plus, uh, sorry, uh, minus 3y and plus 3y. It got cancelled. Yes or no? Minus 3y and plus 3y got cancelled. So, you're not having any variable to, how can you solve? Okay. You got 9 is equal to 9. Understood. So, what is this? Since your LHS is equal to RHS, so it will be having infinite many solution. Not infinite many solution. Sorry. It will have no solution. Uh, see. Here you got LHS is equal to RHS, but if, if you may get 5 is equal to 9, so this is wrong, okay? Then you will get no solution. Yeah, sorry. If 5 is equal to 9, you will get 5 or 4, any value, but which is not equal to 9, okay? Then the statement becomes false, okay? False, okay? Then uh, when the statement becomes false, then no solution no solution okay and you know, since you have got 9 is equal to 9 so for any value of y you'll get a value of x okay understood so they are what parallel lines or not everybody they are parallel lines if you'll get lhs is equal to rhs if the value if your variable got eliminated means there's no variable and you've got a simple value a coefficient on both the side and the statement is true like 9 is equal to 9 18 is equal to 18 5 is equal to 5 so it will be having infinite many solution okay that means for every value of x you'll get a value of y okay but if you'll get 5 is equal to 9 or any value which is not clearly you'll see that it is not equal okay then what will happen it is having no solution okay and when you, when the graph is intersecting okay if single solution jab hota hai, then only you'll get a single value of x and y okay now we are going to elimination method now what is the elimination method i told you uh, okay in this method one variable out of the two variable is eliminated okay by making the coefficient of that variable equal to both the equations okay now let's see after eliminating the variable the left equation is an equation in one variable which can be solved easily okay now let us solve the equation first example first and then we will understand what is this elimination method okay okay the ratio of income of two person is nine is to seven okay ratio of the income of two person okay two logo ki income jo hai wo nine or seven ke ratio mein and the ratio of the expenditure is 4 is to 3, okay? And the ratio of the expenditure is 4 is to 3. If each of them manages to save 2,000 per month, then find the monthly income from a pair of linear equation from the above data and solve them by elimination method. Also verify the solution, okay? Now, who is going to tell me what we are going to, uh, what will be the equation here? Well, uh, it will be 9x and 7x and 4y and 3 Yeah, very good. Now, um, income. Or, no, I'm going to be 9x and 7y and 4x and 3y. Yeah, that only you said in the starting. No, in the starting said 9x and 7x and 4y and 3y. Okay, income of, uh, income of two persons, 9x and 7y. Okay, sorry. 9x and 7x. Okay. Income will be 9x and 7x. Okay. Now. Right. What? Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Uh, and your expenditure. Expenditure of two person. Okay. Will be. Sorry. 4 and 4 by 3 by. Okay. Now. Both of them are saving 2000. So equation will be what? His income 9x hai, his expenditure 4y hai, and they are, it is, he is saving 2000. His income 7x hai, his expenditure 3y hai, and he is also saving 2000. Okay, so these are the two equations that you have got. Okay, uh, first and second. Okay, now elimination method means you have to eliminate the value. So, but how can you eliminate? Multiply the first equation. Multiply equation 1 by 3. And equation second by four. Okay, so the rest of the game. So P9 is a 27x plus 4y is equal to 6. Okay, now subtract it. Okay, if you are going to subtract it, so it will be minus, minus, minus. Okay, uh, what do you do? Uh, just a minute. Um, yeah, okay, write down here. Subtracting 
Why to get the negative value? Okay. Subtracting. This will be your third. Fourth. Subtracting from fourth. Okay. So it will be 28x plus 12y is equal to 8027x plus 12y is equal to 6000. Okay. Minus, minus, minus. Okay. So you will get x. It will be cancelled and you will get here 2000. Okay. Understood? So x value is what? 2000 and y value you can find out okay by putting in any of the equation okay so you can put in 7x 7 2000 plus 3y is equal to 2000 so y will be equal to let's speed it to zero minus Four thousand. Okay, so you got the value of this is minus four thousand. Okay, but since it is uh, means uh, we are talking about expenditure and all, so we will be taking the positive value. Okay, but how come value is negative? It should not be negative. I have not done any mistake. Yeah? Just check the calculation. Any mistake is there? Minus, uh, you have got the value of x and y. And now you can calculate the expenditure and what it was asked. Also verify the solution, uh, pair of linear equations, elimination. Okay, you have got the value of x and y. Any doubt in this? No, ma'am.